Okay, everybody, and we are back, and this time, instead of us playing in real time, like I said, I have gone and made a time-lapse video. Finally figured out a way to do it. So now here it is. I think about two hours worth of gameplay condensed into a 30-minute video. Some I couldn't condense it more to 20 minutes, but hey, it's more video for you guys. So anyway, seeing as this is the first time I've ever done this kind of video before, if it's not as good as what I usually do, at least commentary-wise, I apologize in advance because I've never done this before. Although it could have been better, it can be better than what I usually do, so it really depends on what you guys think. So maybe I might make some more of these time-lapse videos. I mean, it does give me more freedom to uh, think rather than try and entertain or at least educate, kind of like how I kind of rather put it. I don't really see myself as an entertainer. More of an educator of mindless things like building theme parks in a digital virtual video game. They should make that a high school or a college program turn into a career of some sort. I'd be making millions right now. Uh, but anyway, I digress. Uh, let's see. Let's see what I'm doing here. I'm basically watching myself play in super fast motion here, so kind of hard to catch up here so what I'm doing so far it looks like I'm trying to fix a mistake that I've just made there we go I fixed it anyway I am building basically a barrier between the basic resort area and the grizzly the grizzly bear exhibit and for this time lapse we're just going through basically we're leaving the grizzly exhibit out but everything you see within the hotel boundaries will be fully complete by the end of this video so at least you got something to look at by the end. Um, what else is there to talk about? Oh, a good note that I must say right now is that I am in the process of moving, so... Whoa, that noise just came out of nowhere. Uh, hopefully that will not be in the video, I hope. And if not, it was probably... Yeah, don't worry about it, I'll probably put that, lower that down. You probably didn't even like, hear it. I'll probably have to lower that down too. But anyway, um, yeah, on to what I said before. I will be moving, so you're just gonna have to hang tight with the videos for now, since, you know, I will probably not be with a computer for at least two weeks or so. Uh, maybe a little more, depending on how long it takes for me to move. Um... So, yeah, I'm not quitting, so that's why I'm saying this in advance. This is not quitting time. I am actually excited and moving forward. It's a lot better for me to build stuff that is from my own mind rather than something that I have to build with. Or, what's that called? Um, basically, I already have a theme planned out in front of me. I kind of get bored of it. At least with this one, I can go ahead and say if I'm bored with an area, I could just move on and do another area. So this one I am actually inspired to finish, so hopefully I keep my word with this one. Um, there will be some use with that lake you're seeing right now, so that's why I'm giving it some extra uber theming scenery there, putting in some rocks and trees and whatnot. And of course, there will be a waterfall there, which I did have a lot of trouble trying to get it so even. My aid my OCD does not like it when the waterfall does not cooperate with me. Um, but, yeah, as while I'm watching myself build here, let's go ahead and see some other things we can talk about. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. You know, if you guys just have any questions, you know, I kind of like the comments there, so keep spreading those comments around. Ask whatever questions you'd like, and I will try to respond. You know, I will definitely try to respond so at least you guys know that I'm still alive. Hopefully, I know I do still have a smartphone, so sometimes I do respond to those. But, of course, videos, this might be, if not, two or three more if I can squeeze in a bit before I start packing in my computer. I can start squeezing in a little bit more videos, but this might be the one major one before I move. But yeah, go ahead and keep asking questions. Maybe I can go ahead and integrate some of your questions into the video. Maybe as a video response rather than an actual um, 
YouTube comment. So there is that. So far, it looks like I'm just building fences there so people don't go and swim in the lake. There will be a swimming pool for those guys, so of course. We don't want people jumping in the dirty lake. Oh, um, let's see. I did want to say something kind of related to another video game. I recently got Animal Crossing, and it is lots and lots of fun. I've been watching or been playing that game. Oh, wait, here's where I had the problem with the freaking waterfall. Trying so many times, different methods on how to get it to finally get even, which I finally found, which I'm working on right now. But, uh, yeah, back to the topic at hand. Yes, I just got to Animal Crossing. Really like it so far. Been a huge fan of it ever since it first came out. And, hey, if you guys have Animal Crossing too, hey, why not? Let's go ahead and request or trade friend requests. I mean, if you're really that interested, just go ahead and send me an email. Or not an email, but a, what do you call those? YouTube messages. Trade for friend requests. Visit each other's towns. It'll be loads of fun. You know, that'd be cool. I barely have anybody to trade with. So, you know, internet friends would be nice. Don't know what else to talk about. It is rather hard watching me wa uh, play while trying to find something to talk about. I mean, all I'm doing right now is just putting down trees in super fast motion. I mean, it does kind of suck for the people in the hotel rooms if I just keep on building trees after trees and they won't have a nice view. They'll just see tree. Trees. And more trees. Ah, uh, so... You know, I should have just made a list of things to talk about, rather than just trying to say this off the top of my head. But hey, since the video is all about doing things off the top of my head, I'd figure, why the hell not? Let's just do things on a whim. Throw shit in the wind, or piss in the wind, or whatever the hell that uh, saying is. But yeah, throughout this whole course of uh, this video... I just winged it. I didn't really do, uh, I didn't really plan it out. I just started building whatever. You will notice that, yes, yeah, like right now, I'm like, eh, this does not look good. Let's try something else. Oh, hey, that looks awesome. Let's use that. Basically, that is how I kind of did this whole thing. This whole process is just random. So if it looks good, I keep it. If it's not, I tear it down and try something else. So there will be a lot of erasing in this one. So. What you see now, I am just... I honestly don't even know where every, where anything is going to go. So I just build, and then I look at things. Sometimes you'll see that I pause real quick. It's not right now, but you will see that I will pause real quick. Just to get the lay of the land. And sometimes I look on the internet. Just look at some images. Just to get me inspired. So if it looks like it's paused or it froze, it's not. It was me going on the internet looking at some video or not videos but just some images of places that I can be some inspired um, yeah so right now what you are seeing is I am building a restaurant um, basically a steakhouse uh, it will be basically for the hotel patrons but I don't know uh, yeah, I guess it'll just be for the hotel patrons, like, unofficially, but, you know, since it's just RCT3, there's not officially a hotel sort of business. It's kind of like a bar, sort of, slash steakhouse. Don't even know what I'm saying. But, uh, yeah, here we go again, trying to try many different things. Hopefully it'll work, and of course I know I didn't go with that plan, even though I love the stones there. Those stones are just my favorite thing to work with. It really does look nice. But instead, I went with the old dusty-looking brick walls. It did suffice. Now, at this one, this built particular building, I had a bit of problems trying to figure out how to build it. So, of course, I went back and forth trying to figure out how the hell am I going to make this thing. So, if the video takes particularly long to do this... I do apologize if it is that boring, but hey, it shows you guys how to build a restaurant, at least in my in my fashion. I try to use every piece 
in the set. In this one, I believe I did try to, I did use every piece in the set, so one up for me, I suppose. Huh. You know, it really is hard to think about something. You know what? Why don't I just do something completely different that no one has ever done before? And either talk about my life and talk about other things not related to the subject at hand. Yes, I'm a bit of a, uh, a game changer here. No one has ever done this before. But, uh, let's see. What I have done for this weekend, I did watch the new Monsters U. Uh, just, you know, let's just make this like a quick Kai Rubik's review of a movie. It has nothing to do with a theme park. Sort of. But, uh, yep, went this weekend to watch Monsters U. I actually didn't think I'd walk out with anything at all. Because it felt, uh, to me, it felt like it's going to be like Cars 2, where it's just going to suck. It's going to be like one of those, it looks like directed DVD movies. But no, you actually. I actually came back with something, with the ending. It, I don't know if you guys ever... Well, I shouldn't say this, but if any of you guys watch Revenge of the Nerds or any kind of college-type uh, movies like Animal House, that might be what basically Monsters You would be. But the ending... You know, I, I like the ending. It's a bit of a twist. But, uh... But, uh... Yeah, if you have the time and the money, I suggest you do go ahead and watch Monsters U. It's actually a surprisingly good film, despite the fact that, you know, it's basically ripping off every uh, uh, college, what's it, college movie to date. But it did give its own twist at the end, and it was, how do you say, it wasn't as sentimental as Boo. You know, that, that that was a sad moment. You know, it, it was for me, you know. I was a kid back then, so of course, it was sad for me. But you don't get that same feeling with Monsters U. You kind of do. There is there is that sort of feeling. Not not that sentimental, but... I love that you can connect with the... I don't, I don't want to spoil much, but, you know, there is a moment in the movie where you definitely connect with one of the characters. Uh... But, yeah. Um, I don't know what else to say besides that. Nothing much has gone on in my life besides, let's see, watching Monsters U. Uh, let's see. I've uh, recently been to Universal Studios. <laughs> At least that's theme park related, right? Uh, I don't know. How many people of you guys have been to Universal Studios? Any Anyone would do. Um... But yeah, you know, let's just talk about, like, my things about that. Uh, it's been such a long time since I've been there, and just after getting I really missed that Back to the Future ride. But yeah, a little info on me. Back to the Future is my favorite movie of all time. Uh, no bars, or what's that called? Hands down. There you go. There's the expression I'm looking for. Hands down. Back to the Future is my favorite movie of all time. I don't know, it's just the fact that that movie, I don't know, it, it encompasses everything about almost any genre of movie. I mean, at least if you want to count all the trilogies, I mean, you got, it's sci-fi, it's comedy, got a little bit of romantic interest in there, it's action, it's, and if you want to, of course, like, add the third one, it's a, it's a western, along with a, it's sci-fi, so, I don't know, I guess I just like videos that encompass everything, or movies that encompass everything in once. Or, well, how how would I say this? Um, encompass multiple genres. Uh, but, yeah, I was at Universal's, and... God, I don't even know what to say about The Simpsons, right? I mean, I like The Simpsons, but it replaced Back to the Future, so... The nostalgia in me is screaming, no, hate it. But, you know, the other The Simpsons, like, you know, it's The Simpsons, they did a good job on it. It, it, it screams The Simpsons. But, yeah, whatever. It, it's it's it's, it's alright, right? But, uh... You know, let's just go ahead and get back to what we're doing here. Let's try and get back on topic. I, at least, finally, I have something to talk about here. At least, I think so. 
kind of blacked out here. Didn't even look at what I was building here. Um, I see a restaurant or a restroom. So of course it's a restaurant. I know I made all those three. I think it's a steakhouse, a bison burger, and a root beer stand. And what I was going, well, I did call this restaurant. Uh, I think it's called Grizzly Steakhouse. I think, yeah, that's what I called it. Uh, it's themed basically after a hotel in the woods. Kind of like the one in uh, Assassin's Creed 3, basically. I don't know if you guys ever played that. I, I remember there's like this one where you have your little land, what you own, and then of course the inn comes in, you get to build an inn. Uh, oh, right. Um, something about this game is that I did activate the cheat M. Brooks. Now, I did say I was going to try and avoid cheats as much as possible. However, I did also say that if I... Oops, excuse me. One more time. <laughs> if I really, really needed to use it, I was going to activate it. And this was one of those situations... So, it might not come back again. Oh, here I go, trying to theme the extra area here. Adding a bit of extra scenery. But, yeah, back onto the cheats. Um, M. Brooks is probably the most that I'll go into cheating. Besides, I think that's pretty much the only one that I really actually need anyway. So, I might continue to use that if I most definitely use it. But just a heads up, I did activate it. I think we already passed the part where I already activated it on camera. So it seems like I am almost... Well, I, well, it looks like I'm already done with the... Except for a few holes there. Which I fill in and put in a hotel sign to complete the hotel facade. And of course, I cap off the roof up there. The roofs. I have multiple roofs up there. Also, kind of sucks for the people at the bottom floor down there. All they see is wall. So, yeah, I think possibly if they get wall, I most likely just put trees so it looks like they're in the forest. You know, it's details like that that you gotta kind of address. I mean, look at. Think of yourself as a peep and you being in those rooms, and what kind of view are they gonna get? You know, do you think they're gonna be good with a view of just a hotel themed restaurant of a wall? You know, or would it look better to just put like some trees to obscure the view so at least it looks somewhat interesting? But, uh, okay. Uh, let's see, it looks like I'm kept off the roof right now, and it looks like it's done. Uh, let's see, and of course, I add the, uh, the wall, or what's that, the wall, uh, the signage, giving it that final piece, oh wait, here we go, yep, this is the part I'm talking about, um, I think I was looking up some pool designs, I think I also looked up a tutorial about doing, because I think I remember, um, somehow, this is not a cheat, I'd like to think of this more of a glitch, or like a loophole through the game, uh, where, well, you'll see it. Well, you know, I'll say it anyway. Uh, it's where I use a waterfall that goes into the pool. So, in a minute, you'll probably see that. But for now, you know, it's completely blank. So, we're just going to sit here and wait for me to come back. So, how's life? Oh, yeah, that's good. Good, yeah. Have you been, you know, is that, oh, it's, you're not talking to me, no, uh, that's, uh, and you're walking away, oh, okay, so that, that, that's, oh, and you're, you're turning off the computer, mm -hmm. and I just came back, I'm failing at trying to entertain you guys, yeah, anyway, it looks like I'm finally back, and I think, yep, here's the part where I begin, the waterfall pool trick. So pay attention. So it seems like I'll go ahead and dig a hole. I think I put them four deep. Made the waterfall first and then made the pool. Oh, this part, you might get a lot of flashing. Lots and lots of flashing because for some reason the game. Oh, 
You know, I thought this was going to be a seizure-inducing part because I remember when playing this game, that pool area was just not cooperating. So, luckily, right now, as I'm viewing it right now, it's not seizure-inducing. So, yay, I avoided a lawsuit. Uh, don't sue if it does. Uh, looks like I'm going ahead and building the cliff facade. Nice little rock work there. I don't know what I'm doing here. I think I'm thinking again. Probably on the internet. Possibly off track, completely forgetting. Oh, wait, no, hey, hey, he's back. I'm back. Okay, good. Um, da -da -da -da. I think this is where I start building the pool. This I actually don't add. I didn't have any idea how to build the pool, even though I looked at other, you know, thousands of other pools. I'm like, whatever, I'll just wing it. Nothing didn't look good, so whatever. Uh, let's see here. Of course, I wanted to theme it as well as like a nice little watering hole in the uh, in the forest. So I tried to make it look as well, at least the, from the outside, look as natural as possible. With the pool, of course, it looks man-made. There's no helping that because, of course, it's soaked. I'm trying to make it look as like a regular swimming pool, but I tried as hard as I can. But uh, seems like we're almost about done here after the pool area. I think all I did was just add some trees, and of course, made some lighting and. Uh, seats and whatnot and of course you know I'll just say this a little bit that there will be some added use for that lake there uh, let's see I will be using fireworks as well as some fountain shows maybe with some lasers so I can you know since I'm using soaked why not just use every bit of RCT3 as I can so fireworks water shows and lasers included so basically, yeah, you know, so I can have something to talk about. My plan is I'm going to try and use every bit of RCT3 as I can, including the fireworks show and the laser water jet show spectacular thingy. Um, seeing as the people in the hotel viewing it from the inside don't get a good view, oh, don't get a view at all. Because I'm going to make fireworks that come basically come from the middle of the lake for the theme park. And seeing as the people in the hotel room can't see it, I decided, you know what, let's give them a small little laser slash water, uh, water fountain show. No fireworks, just lasers and waterfall effects. Um, on the lake area there. And what inspired me with that is I remember going to Las Vegas and there was... A hotel there called Sam's Town, which had a really nice laser water effect show there. So got a little bit of an exp inspiration from that show. You know, if you can, I don't know if you guys want to have the time. If you have any time, go ahead and check that out. I think it's just called Sam's Town fireworks effect kind of thing or water show. Yeah, just look up uh, Las Vegas Sam's Town water show. And that's pretty much how I got inspired to make the indoor hotel uh, lake water effect thingy. I think it's going to be the music. I'm not going to have any custom music, so I'm just going to use whatever RCT3 gives me. Like I said, I'm not going to be using any custom whatever. Maybe a custom sign, but I highly doubt that. But, um, yeah... With the laser and water show here, it will be the uh, Prairie Rider. Same thing you hear in the front entrance of my park. So it'll go with that. Seems like I'm almost about done with the pool area. And right here is when I had a shocking discovery of possibly if I can try this or if it'll not work. But you'll see where I'm getting at here try to basically extend the pool area to a less second I think second third level whatever higher level but you'll see here as I continue to upgrade this area let's just go ahead 
And you guys can hear me yawn while I go ahead and wait for myself from the past. Complete this little area. And there we go. Almost done. Come on, past life. Or past me. Can't you go any faster even though I'm time lapsing it right now? Okay. There it goes. And what I basically. Well, yeah. Adding some more trees in there so it kind of hides the fact that it's. You know, you can go up there kind of thing. So it's like a hot spring area, and that's what I'm talking about. I wanted to see if that worked. If you can jump from the waterfall, and apparently it worked. So, hooray for me experimenting. See, that's also the thing, too. Try to experiment with every possible thing with, uh, with practically any game. I mean, you might figure something out. Just like I did right there. I didn't even know if it was going to work. And I just tried it and hey, it worked. So here, I think we're at the home stretch here. We're at 26 minutes. Uh, let's see, just about putting in any added items or objects, possibly moving stuff around. Like that lifeguard, some lights, a bit more lights. Oh boy. And of course, adding some pool lights. And then, of course, finally, putting basically finishing touches on the area. Oh! It's a lot more fun when I'm playing rather than me watching myself play this game in a rather condensed version. But, uh, I just figured out some... You know what? I'll give you some names of the lands I'm going to make. So I know you guys already know about the main entrance. Basically themed after the World's Fair. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to call it World's Fair Square. I've already named something square. Maybe World's, World's Fair Alley, World's Fair Way. Something like that. It's going to... I just, I just I really hear myself yawn one more time. Trying to make you guys sleepy. But yeah, the entrance, the entrance plaza theme will be the World's Fair of 1893? Yeah, I think I said 1893. Um, there's not going to be a lot of rides, just some, maybe one 3D effect show which will basically be kind of like the history of the World's Fair kind of thing. And then, of course, I'm going to add the Ferris wheel, which, of course, it did debut in Chicago of 1893 at the World's Fair. You know, the Colombian World's Fair. Google it. Look it up. Educate yourselves. Learn. Broaden your horizons. But, uh... There's one of the lands. Another land that is a definite is Sleepy Hollow Harbor. I really like that name. That will be the haunted area of my park. And will be the first roller coaster I will build, which will of course be the Headless Horseman, which will be a wooden roller coaster. So be go ahead and look forward to that. Um what else I know I'm going to make a mining town to fit in with the Western theme although it looks like I have a Western area all fit here however I was trying to go for more of a rugged outdoorsy forest look rather than you know like a mining town so sure it might say on the map that it's a Western theme but no it is not Western it is a rugged arts and crafts look at the uh, of the wilderness area it's like a campsite or something don't judge me but uh, let's see oh we are about at the end of our halfway mark so hey I actually made it talking to you guys well seems like we ran out of time here remember I'm not gonna make that much movie or videos while I'm moving so might take about two weeks try to squeeze in